Okay, you guys, I'm gonna use a lesson from the jungle. Yes, a lesson from the jungle to teach you about Trump supporters. How are you gonna do that, you say, Patrick? Well, watch and listen. So, back in the day, you guys, National Geographic had some researchers over in Africa and they were following zebras doing some research, right? But what they found out was it was hard for them to track the zebras because they go in a herd and their stripes all meld together and they look a lot alike. So it's hard to tell which zebra is which for research purposes. So, they had to come up with a solution. Their solution was to tag the zebra's ear like they do with cattle or to put a red mark on the side of the zebra so they could track it through the herd. But what ended up happening, you guys, whenever they marked a zebra, that zebra would be killed by the lions because the zebra lost its natural defenses to be a part of the herd, to meld in with the herd. And that's where the protection was. As soon as that zebra could be singled out with a red spot or a tag on its ear, the lions could focus on that zebra and kill it. And that herd mentality has served humans and animals for thousands of years in the wild. And it's helped us survive, right? Because if we stick in the herd, there's a lot of protection. And if you leave the herd, you could be killed. So it's built into our human anatomy. It's built into our biology, you guys. So when a Trump supporter is online and they're a very busy working person, they're not like me that works in media, they don't have time to do a lot of research, right? And they see all these Trump posts coming through their newsfeed on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and a lot of their friends and family have liked it. And then there's tons of Facebook fake Russian bots that have put all these thousands and thousands of likes on it. And then they put thousands of fake comments on it. It looks like there's a lot of support for the Trump movement and the right wing movement and these crazy right wing ideas. And so that makes simple minded people think they're doing the right thing when they join in with the herd because that's where the safety is, right? Everybody wants to vote for the right person. Everybody wants to be on the right side of history. Everybody wants their country to do well, right? So these people aren't coming from a point of view where they're like, oh, I want to screw up the country, oh, I want to vote for the wrong person, they're coming from the point of view is, I want the best America possible. I want America to be great again even, right? So they have good intentions. The problem is that their herd mentality is telling them to stay with the herd. And the herd in this case is the right wing because if you go online on any of these social media platforms, they're completely taken over by Russians, by misinformation, by bots, and by fake accounts that give the illusion that the herd is actually the other side, that the herd is actually the bad idea, when the herd should be the people that are on the right side, on the good idea, on the liberal side, on the left side, currently. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this is a very dangerous thing, because what Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all these places are doing is, they're playing into our herd mentality by showing people that all their friends, that all these other people like these ideas that they don't really like because they're supported by fake likes, fake accounts, fake comments, by fake bots. And that is very, very dangerous for the American